Welcome back to A-Town Weekly. I'm Jonas. It was a busy week around school as staff and administrators are preparing for phase four of the school openings and getting ready to welcome back more students. ICLOS caught up with our principal, Mr. Bonham, and Superintendent Matt Haas to get their thoughts on how the process is taking shape. We'll have that segment for you this week, but first, here's Jamila with an important announcement. As this pandemic has changed so much of the school year, the annual PVCC Career Pathways Expo is no different. In years past, we loaded up, loaded up all the 10th graders on uh, buses, and they attended this event at a location in town. This year, the past event will be hosted virtually and has been expanded to include all grades 9th through 12th. We've received details from the event planners that starting Monday, March 1st, any student can register for this event. It will be held on consecutive Fridays, March 5th, 12th, 19th, and 26th from 1 to 2 p.m. It kicks off the motivational speakers, UDA swimming and diving team athletes, Jack Walker and Katie Cronin on Friday, March 5th, followed by career pathway sessions on the 12th and 19th and 26th. You can find the link for more specific schedule of events at the link in the description of the video. For more information about the event or how to register, contact Ms. Ashley McMahon at amcman at k12.org. The Essence of Life is a student organization that seeks to improve the lives of people living around the world. This month, they invite to join in the book donation organizes hope that by sending used books to communities in Nepal, they will increase education and enrichment opportunities for English and language learners there. If you have used books and need a new home, consider donating. For more information, the drive of the Essence of Life organization, email to Kutagia at kgs4 at k12.org. Now, here's Iklas with very special A-Town Weekly feature. Hello, Almar Patriots! Up next are interviews from our principal, Mr. Bonham, and Superintendent Dr. Haas about how Phase 4 will look like in our school. So, what will the average school day look like for students? I think you're going to find that it looks like school used to look like, but it also doesn't. The parts that will look familiar and similar to those who have been in high school, especially at Albemarle, is that you're coming into school, Students can drive to school, students drive the bus to school, they get a chance to go to their classes and be with their teachers. So that's the part that looks familiar. The part that is gonna be different is the number of kids in a building. So we went from you know 1,880 students that we have registered now to around 900 that are becoming in the building. And because they're rotating every other day, you're looking at about half. So you're looking at about 450 students or so that are coming in on any given day. Monday, Wednesdays, and Tuesdays, Thursdays. And so with that, your students, you're going to see, obviously, the difference between what they look like because they're all wearing masks, just like all the staff are wearing masks um, throughout the day. And then you're going to notice that the ability to do what students like to do, which is to socialize and to congregate in the breezeway and to have Patriot period and hang out during the cafeteria during a long lunch, you know, those things aren't going to be in existence during a pandemic Um time period because you have to ensure that all the social distancing and things of that nature um, are adhered to. So, you know, the transitions between class are going to be very brief. You know, it's a five minute window, the bell rings, you got to get to your next class. Um, while I'm sure you'll see people to say hi to, you can't stop and talk and, you know, do some of the things that, uh, and hang out like you normally would, because again, we're in this process where we're trying to keep people safe. Um, the other part would be your lunches are going to be eaten with your second period class. Um, to begin with, they'll be in the classroom. Eventually, we're going to start branching out as weather gets nicer and be able to eat outside and things of that nature. But right now, you'll be eating with your class, your classmates. You know, there are no 
long lunches. There are no, no, you know, seniors leaving to go to Chick-fil-A and get lunch anymore. I mean, those things are, are not going to be able to be allowed, obviously in a, um, COVID world of, of trying to run school. Um, and then there's other things which are just going to be somewhat bizarre until you get used to them is there are actually during the hallway transitions going to be one way hallways. So instead of the bell ringing and students go everywhere, you have to have the flow of traffic so that you don't, you know, kind of cross paths as much as you normally would. So there's actually one way hallways where students will and one way stairwells, which students will have to travel as they go from first to second, second to third, third to fourth. So, you know, those are probably the biggest things. So I think you know, students coming back are going to be energized by the fact they're back in class and are excited that they have now a chance to see their friends and see their teachers and be more engaged. You know, it's going to, it's not going to be as great because they're going to miss some of the things that normal school provide, which is what I mentioned. Now, here's Malachi with a Patriot Sports update. Hello, Patriots. I'm Malachi. Last week, the Patriot swim team traveled to Stafford to compete in the state championships. Both the boys and girls team had a great showing with the boys finishing in fourth place in the state overall and the girls squad um, ending up in second place in the VHSL. Congratulations to Gray Davis who brought home an individual title in the 2000 meter and, the, and was runner up in the 100 fly as a freshman. On Saturday, varsity football started season on the road against Monticello. Abermall picked up a dub winning 32 to 15. Ebenezer McCarthy had a 65 yard touchdown run that put the Patriots up late. A great Abermall win starting off the season 1 0. Unfortunately, due to COVID 19 concerns and protocols, the volleyball season has been suspended, including their senior night and practices and games. Their season will continue with practices starting on Friday, March 12th. The upcoming week will be a busy one for Patriot sports. Season two kicks off on Tuesday when the field hockey season gets underway. Out on the turf, the field hockey team will take on Orange with JV getting underway at around 5.30 and varsity starting at 7. Then on Friday, March 5th, varsity football will host Goochland at 6.30. You can catch all that action via Patriot sports live streams um, you can find the field hockey match on the A Town Today YouTube channel. You can find the live stream links for every Patriot home game at AlbemarlePatriots.com in the schedule section. Other sports getting started this week include the boys golf team, which tees off against Orange on Monday, and the girls and boys cross country teams will race at Panorama Farms on Wednesday against Orange starting at 3. Finally, be sure to catch the Patriot Sports Update special season preview segments of both the varsity volleyball and football team on the A-Town Today YouTube channel. Also, be sure to stay up to date on all Patriot Sports via the A-Town Today Instagram and Twitter accounts. Now back to Jonas. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time on A-Town Week.